You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to the Daily Coach YouTube channel. Today, I have a great friend of mine. Her name is Jennifer Cheney. She is the Vice President of Franchise Development for a really longtime franchisor partner of mine called Right at Home. Jennifer, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Thanks, Kim. Thanks for having me. I am so happy to have you here today. On the Daily Coach YouTube channel, we love to share good stories in franchising. I particularly love to spotlight franchisors that I've worked with for nearly the 20 years that I've been a franchise consultant, which right at home would be one of those. So tell us a little bit about the senior care space, Jen, and how right at home is doing and growing and even fared during 2020. Okay, yes, happy to do so. So the general description of, you know, franchising with Right at Home is we're an in-home care and assistance um, business for seniors and adults with disabilities. So when you purchase a Right at Home franchise, you're purchasing a territory in which you provide services to uh, seniors and adults with disabilities in their actual homes, which is where people want to be. And we especially did see that during COVID or actually when COVID first started, I say during COVID like it was past tense. It's still happening right now, unfortunately. Um, But a lot of people were taking their loved ones out of nursing homes and and putting them back in their homes. Um, So um, the way that we fared during COVID was was incredibly well. And that's that's to say just in general. Of course, we had some franchise owners that, you know, maybe struggled a little bit, but that's any business owner worldwide struggled with business and just a, a, except for maybe Zoom or, right, right. <laughs> you know, struggled a little bit during COVID. But for the most part, um, our business uh, did indeed grow uh, during 2020 and even during 2021. 2021 for the franchise development team uh, was one of the biggest years that we've had in, in close to five years. Um, so that was incredibly exciting, you know, selfishly for the franchise development team. But our franchise owners in general uh, fared really well during COVID. So your owners had to be telling good stories through 2020 in order for you to award new franchises in 2021. Yes, right? yes. And it was, it was so encouraging to see, you know, when COVID first hit, and I define that as, gosh, and it's, it's like the last couple of years have been a blur, Kim. Uh, when COVID first hit, that was around March of 2020. Um, And we, um, you know, should we just stop franchising? Should we stop selling? We were having franchise owners are like, I'm continuing to grow. Um, And validation was continued to be incredibly awesome. Of course, with this, it's, you know, the the underlying challenges that every business has. But for the most part, validation was huge for us, our franchise owners. And that says so much about us and our brand, how great our franchisees validate Uh, with prospects. I love right at home because I love that you're mission driven. Number one, like the franchise own, the candidates that I send to right at home are always people that when I'm talking to them about their dream, like share with me what your, what your future looks like. And they say things like, I want to do something that I'm passionate about. I want to be integrated into my community. I want my work to be an extension of who I am and maybe who they are is someone who volunteers a lot or who's very involved in their church community, right? When they say things like that to me and they say, I love people and I want to grow a business with people, I say, oh, oh, I think I have a great franchise or a partner for you. That's us. Yep. Yep. For sure. And, you know, our mission is to improve the quality of life for those we serve. It's really that simple. And I would say 99.9% of the people who join the right at home system are looking for exactly that. You know, either they're unemployed right now or they're working in corporate America or they just want to do something different. But almost every single one says, I just want to do something that matters that's meaningful, 
that, you know, I, at the end of the day, I can go home and I can say, gosh, I, I really made a difference in somebody's life today. And that's not only for the clients that actually receive our care. You know, our franchise owners take incredibly good care of their caregivers themselves. You know, you're providing employment to so many people when you hire these caregivers, and you've got to really care for those caregivers themselves and treat them well. Um, it's all about, you know, recruitment and retention right now with employees, you know, worldwide. It doesn't matter what business you're in, uh, but it's incredibly important that you care for those caregivers as well. And that means something to our franchisees too. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv. Does Right at Home provide training and support in terms of finding the right caregivers and then how to incentivize? Oh we have a whole team. We have a whole team of people here at corporate headquarters that do nothing but help and support our franchise owners with, with caregiver recruitment and retention. Right. You know, we, we, we think back to years ago, you know, when we were coaching our franchise owners, it was all about how to find those clients. Now it's a little bit of a shift that it's like, here's how we're gonna help you recruit and retain those caregivers. And all of the ways that we can do that. I mean, we've got, I mean, I, I don't even know where to begin when it comes to the help and support that we provide to our franchise owners for with caregiver recruitment and retention. It's, so it's over the top. I love how when the business first starts, right, there's education in the marketplace that has to happen. Like, what does that mean? In-home assistance and care. But now everybody knows what that is. It's more as a business model about how do we, it's not about finding the, the client anymore, really. It's about finding the person to work with that client. So, you know, when I'm meeting candidates, people will throw up their assumptions about what they believe to be true. And I, I think we just hit on probably the biggest assumption in senior care. Well, if it relies on a lot of people, it can't really be a good business to start right now. And I would challenge my candidate, look, if you have that assumption for a business like senior care, but you love the idea of the model, you should take that assumption to Jen, to her team, because the people inside the franchise have the tools and they can share with you how to help you get over that. And you may still decide it's not the right business for you, but at least take the assumption into the conversation to the people who are there to guide and support you and then out to the franchise owners who are using your tools, yes. right? That's right. Yep. Yes. And I just had a conversation with a candidate just, gosh, it would have been Thursday of last week that was like, I just, Jen, I'm just a little bit hesitant because I don't have any healthcare experience. I've been in corporate America for 20 years and this is, it, it makes me just a little bit nervous. I was like, time out. <laughs> Like, that's why you're looking into a franchise. We've got close to 90 people here at corporate headquarters that are going to help you with exactly that. You name it, there's a subject matter expert here to help you and support you with exactly that. So a lot of people have that assumption like, I don't have any healthcare experience. That's not the franchise for me, which that's a complete myth because we have plenty of very successful owners that had no prior healthcare experience prior to joining Right at Home and they're thriving. Yeah, you're in business for yourself but not by yourself. So guys, did you hear what she just said? 90 yeah. support staff and how many franchisees do you have total in your system? Gosh, we have close to uh, 300 unique franchisees. Um, as far as territory sold, we have over 600 uh, worldwide and we're in a total of eight different countries, including the and United States. And you had a record-breaking year? Like, how do you have any more territory left to sell? I know. I know. Yes. So we've got in the United States here, we have um, over 350 territories left in the United States um, that are still uh, looking for that next uh, franchise owner. So we've got plenty of available territories all over the United States. And we have a really awesome interactive map right on our website at your access that you can go to to check what's available and what's That's not. That's awesome. And so going back to the point I was trying to make before, 90 support staff to about 300 franchisees, you people out there can do the math to see what the ratio, like when we're in school, it's all about the student to teacher ratio, right? That makes the school good. Well, here we go, guys. The student to teacher ratio uh -huh. is one to three. <laughs> For sure. And you will absolutely hear, and I've mentioned this already, you will absolutely hear during franchisee validation, all of our franchise, you will never hear a franchise owner say, gosh, 
you know, I tried to contact corporate and there was no support. There just wasn't anybody I couldn't reach. You will never hear any of our franchise owners say that. We make sure that franchisee support is number one. So is your business model considered a home-based business or do you encourage owners to start from an office? Yes, yeah, so it's required that you have to have some type of a central office that, um, you know, 600 to 800 square feet that houses, you know, uh, somebody who's answering the phones, uh, maybe some type of an office manager, um, and also the place that caregivers go for um, interviews and training. Um, but no, you cannot have your office from home. You have to have some type of a central office um, that caregivers can report to. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're inspired by this conversation, I invite you to email me right now to explore this franchise opportunity. My email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. So you hear this is an executive style business. So we're not starting from home because we're not going out and delivering care, right? We are running an office. We are the CEO of a senior care business, a business that's sending caregivers out into the community to help our aging parents, grandparents, adults living with disabilities live their best life from home. Did I say that right, Jen? You did. You nailed it, Kim. Nice work. Uh, I have placed some really, really great people into Right at Home over the years. They do very well. They send me referrals. And you know what? During the holidays, I saw the best Right at Home commercial on the Hallmark Channel, actually. Yes. I do know. Do you know the commercial I'm talking about? I do. We have a full line of new commercials that we air, gosh, starting in October, November that run until January, February. Just outstanding. A new a new marketing um, rollout um, recently. And those commercials are just, I mean, they're so outstanding. They, it was outstanding. I was just like, oh my gosh, that's my partner right at home. I was so proud. So um, in, on that note, like when you look at the senior space, another myth out there is, wow, there's a lot of competition. Like how does right at home position themselves in the market or is competition not even really a big deal because of the size of the potential market? Yeah, there's, it's no secret that there are plenty of other uh, people that are, are doing what we're doing. Yes, we, we have competition. But when it comes to, if you're trying to make that decision of choosing us or somebody who's doing something like us, um, I can't speak for others, but for Right at Home, I can absolutely tell you, and this is important, at least it's important to me, uh, the culture and the support that we have here at Right at Home is second to none. I know that there are, for a fact, there are plenty of other companies out there that talk about how great their culture is. But when you actually get in there, some people will say that it's not so great. But I am telling you here at Right at Home, we have an outstanding executive team. The people that are doing their jobs, are they've been trained, they're educated. Everybody is so excellent at what they do. And the culture around you know, the office here is just outstanding. Our franchisees are the best. I know I'm biased. Uh, but the support also, I mean, I mean, you can't have a thriving franchise without that support. That is so key. It's so well summed up. For anybody that's listening to this, you know, if you've spent any amount of time on Kim Daily TV, you've certainly heard me say that when you invest in a franchise, you are not buying a widget. You are buying people. First and foremost, you are buying leadership, you are buying culture, you are buying uh, an environment where you can be coached and mentored, where you can get up the learning curve of learning to become a business owner and to live the life of your dreams. And that's part of the reason I wanted to inv invite Jen on to Kim Daily TV so you, the listener, can get a glimpse inside a company that's been partnered with me for over 20 years, that I've been a franchise consultant that has such a culture, that has that leadership, that has a fantastic, long-term, recession-resistant, now we can say COVID-resistant, sustainable model to offer to you. If you're looking into a senior care franchise, I encourage you to look into Right at Home and of course, work with Kim because she's also the best. Aww, thank you. If you wanna learn more about the Right at Home franchise opportunity, please follow the link on the screen below. And until next time, I am Kim Daly, and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. 
My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.